friends, welcome back. I am Julie, welcome to the Frugal Family. So this week I have been using the new GoPro setup, sometimes with just like the stick and then other times on the head mount. And what it is, so there's just the regular GoPro that I bought just what, a month or two ago. But then I ordered the media kit, which is this thing that goes around it and has like this microphone, which is supposed to help with the sound still deciding if I think it's better. But then you have to have the media kit in order to attach the GoPro light. And since I wanted to start trying to do some night diving or dark diving, like super early morning or else at night, uh, it was definitely a necessity for me so that I could have hands free and be able to see and still be stealthy, whatever. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing this week. Let's take a look at how it went and what I learned. Okay, we are trying this out this evening with the new flashlight. It has different settings. That's, I think, the brightest. Let's see, we've got a little bit of Halloween over there. Piece of a broom. Don't know that I'll be able to reach any of that. Don't really have many tools with me. To be honest, I didn't think I'd actually find anything. I just wanted to try out the camera. The store is still open. It's a dollar store and it is still open. And you know, I don't like diving during store hours. then I can stand on there. <laughs> there we go. And it's got a little crack on it. Tastes bad. Those might be good, but I'm not gonna be able to reach them. But what is this? heavy, whatever it is. Oh, I better go. I get too nervous being here during actual operating hours. But we got some really cute little Halloween treat bags and you know I love me some Halloween. And we got this bowl, a little bit broken. I don't know, maybe I won't keep it. We'll see. Let's check. Huh. So this tells me Their garbages must get emptied on Tuesday. Valuable information. Hmm. 
just a bunch of tissue paper. Add that to our gifting supplies. If you ever need foam board, just go to the um, uh, the Michaels dumpster. Foam board, tag board, cardboard. a box over there but everything is like seriously frozen solid you guys that I learned in this in this attempt and this will change maybe I don't know it I know there's a lot of you that do night diving and you're totally comfortable with it and it's all that you do uh, but I think it is like pretty much the same as any other time of diving it comes down to doing your recon your reconnaissance missions and scouting it out and figuring out when is the best time at night uh, which are the best places on which day, which is what I'm always telling you guys when you ask, when should I go diving? Well, that's entirely dependent on you and um, your area. Every, every place is going to be a little bit different. And I think that's what it's going to come down to for me for this night and dark diving um, adventure I'm trying, <laughs> trying to embrace. I'm just going to have to keep working at it, doing my recon missions and sussing it out. But here's the thing that I don't think will change, at least not right away. I get spooked. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, just in the last video, I left everything that was there. And you saw there were mountains, okay? I am trying to go back. Um, hopefully some of it will still be there. I have no idea what was buried in that ice dumpster. I mean, seriously, all that stuff was just totally frozen together. Um, there, it was loaded. It was loaded. And will I get like the, the dinners, the frozen dinners? I don't know. Maybe. It, it's been super cold all week. So I'm guessing they're probably still okay. It'll, for me, it'll be a matter of freezer space. But anyway, that's if any of that is still there when I go back. But like every little noise, and, and I, there's always like little noises or this or that when I go at like the regular times that I go. Um, but night, there's just something about it, you know? You, you get spooked. Absolutely, I get spooked so much easier. So 
I don't know. Will that change? Will I still, except I don't think that I should, that that's something that should change because it's what keeps you aware and keeps you safe, you know, being alert and, and aware of, of your surroundings and stuff like that. You've got to, you know, you've got to be careful. Uh, what I found was that that place, that pharmacy dumpster where everything was totally solid, frozen solid, where I got spooked and left, turns out it's like a popular hangout place. It's like a meetup or makeout place. I don't know where you, you meet up to hook up. Um, and so there were like young folk, God, I sound old saying that, but anyway, um, it's like a place where people like meet up and stuff. So there were teenagers when I was leaving, it was obvious that it was a bunch of kids and, um, but I don't want to deal with a bunch of kids. You never know what kids are going to do. All right. And especially in the middle of the night, in the dark, <laughs> by a dumpster. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that that getting spooked thing will ever go away. I think one of the big things is trying to decide, okay, am I going to do or attempt these dark dives on weeknights or, or like weekend nights? Because obviously the kids are going to be more likely to be out, you know, hooking up and, you know, getting into mischief on weekend nights versus weeknights. We'll see. The other issue that I ran into, uh, specifically at the Michaels and the Burlington, was security. So when I go in the mornings, there's not security guards. I've never once seen one. Okay. In, in these particular shopping centers, but going at night, yeah, there was a security guard and we had just left the Michaels and we're heading to Burlington. And we, I think we set off, um, some kind of maybe motion sensor. I don't know what, but anyway, the security guard goes flying past us to towards the Michaels. Coincidence? It's, it's totally possible. Um, but that's just not something that I've ever dealt with in the morning. So I don't know. And I don't know what time like their security people leave. I just know that when I go, the times that I've gone, there's just not been that issue. So what does this tell me? Well, I mean, I haven't 100% decided either way if night diving is going to be the thing for me or not. I think it really comes down to I need to, like I said, do the recon, suss it out, try it out, find different days and times and different places, whatever, and kind of go from there. But at this moment, what I'm thinking is rather than staying up later and going at night when you just, I mean, I'm sorry, guys, you do. You look more suspicious. You just look more suspicious and it's more likely that cops are going to bug you or that there's going to be a security guard patrol. Rather than that, maybe, and this is still dark diving, maybe just focus on getting up earlier and hitting up these places just earlier in the early, early morning. I don't know. It's going to be a process. I'm going to figure it all out. And I appreciate each and every one of you, but especially our Patreon family members who make this possible, who make it possible for me to branch out and try new things and, you know, keep the spice in this relationship, if you will. Oh, uh, my Patreon members make it possible to even do this, period. Like, you put gas in the tank. You make it possible for me to invest in a GoPro and the little necessary attachments so that I can try doing different things to keep me interested in what I do and hopefully to keep you guys interested in what I do. So thank you so much to our Patreon family, but also to all of our fabulous viewers who like and share and subscribe and all that fun stuff. I appreciate you. You are wonderful. Happy Christmas week. And um, we'll see you real soon.